Hi, welcome to my channel. So today I'll be showing you how I present my work like this on Dribbble. I primarily use Dribbble for presenting um, interfaces and macro interactions I have done. So I'll be walking you through what that workflow looks like for me. Um, in terms of creating presentations like I showed you earlier, I'm mostly using Figma, then exporting that to After Effects. So let's get started. Okay, in order to export our work from Figma to After Effects for us to start animating, we need a plugin called AUX, right? I'm going to leave a link in the description below. So just come in here and search AUX, right? You can click download directly here or you can just click on the URL, download, download again and it's downloaded, right? Um, so what we do now is we go to our file explorer to extract this file and install it in Figma. Now that we've, now that we've downloaded AUX, it's time for us to install the plugin in Figma. So right click on an empty workspace, click on plugins, go to development, import plugin from manifest. So I'll click on this. Uh, I can see the folder here, the extracted folder. So click on it, go to Figma, select the manifest.json file and open. So allow. Yes, so now I have this plugin here. So after installing AUX in Figma, the next thing we have to do is install it in After Effects. If you install it in Figma, you're not installing After Effects and you try loading the plugin in Figma, it shows you failed to load AE. So in order to install this, it's pretty easy. We have to download this ZXP installer from A script. Right, so you click on this, you go to A script. I'm using a Mac, so I'll click on download Mac OS. Okay, as not that is done downloading, I have to install this, then we'll be using the ZXP installer to install the AUX for After Effects. With the ZXP installer installed, you Go to your AUX folder, click on AE, right? You see the ZXP um, file here. What you have to do is just click and drag here and install. And that's pretty much it. And we're good to go. So next, let's jump back into Figma and start exporting. <laughs> okay, we're back in Figma and these are the, uh, are the files I want to be animating, right? Um, so what I like to do is I like to mock up what each um, frame is going to look like, right? which is what I basically have here. Um, so the next step is to prepare the file we actually be exporting. So if you remember this presentation here, you notice that this file, this frame is inside the mockup, right? So now we need to get the mockup. I used to use AdBot Studio, but right now it's a paid it's a paid tool, and I don't create mockups enough for me to pay for that subscription. So what I would do right now is, first thing is I'll click on this and export this to my file explorer. After exporting, I went on the Figma community, right, and I got, I just set for iPhone mockup and I got this, which is what we have here. All right, so after exporting, I can just look for any of these, any of these mockups I like, right, click here. Click here where it says replace here. Come in here, choose image, and choose um, what you just exported. So the goal behind this is just to get this in a frame. We're not going to be animating this because obviously this is a PNG, but we need this element itself to, to make sure that whatever we're animating stays inside this frame, right? I'll explain that when we get to After Effects. So now that I have this my mock-up ready, right? I have this my mock-up ready. Um, I have to prepare a larger frame, so I click on F on my keyboard and I'll just draw something. So when you are animating in, um, rather when you're exporting to Dribbble, the file resolution is 1600 by 1200. Okay, so I'll call this um, animation container. Animation container, okay. Then this is what we actually want to animate, right? So I'll just scale it down for the sake of the tutorial, scale it down to however I want it to look. So maybe something like this. Uh, I like having fancy colors here. 
So let's just say maybe something like this, for example. All right. So all I have to do is check the file, stroke body. I do not need all these things. Um, antennas. Uh, looks complicated. All right. The main thing I need is the body. So I'll click on right click, plugin, um, AUX. All right. Ideally, when using say something like um, AdBot Studio, you get you get just three elements, right? Screen, mask, and one other thing. I think shadow. So, right. But because of this, I'm having too many elements, and I do not want this to break when I export this. So, after launching AUX, you're going to see an export um, an option called rasterized layer on export so whatever layer i do not need or i will not be animating uh, that i don't want to break i'm just going to click on this option so I'll select these guys all right rasterize all right so when you see this asterisk beside them which means they've been rasterized all right i can even go ahead and group them together okay so what i'll do is um okay so they've been rasterized body I need screen, which is like the major thing. So if you turn it off and on, this is how it looks. So I need screen, this, 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 I can just rasterize. All right, so now we're good to go. So all, all we have to do is click on the make main animation container and send selection to AE. All right, so what, what this is trying to do right now is it's trying to save these assets into a folder so ideally i like creating new folders whatever i'm working on right so this is since this is an animation project called one city pin right uh just select that and open right so that has been saved and this has been successfully imported into after effects so now we can start creating magic we can start doing interesting things in here so i'll click on this Remember I told you all these other guys are not very important, right? These are not very important. So the not important things I will not be animating, right? Um, I'll just select all of them, yeah. select all of them, um, change their colors to red, right? I will not be needing them. This is where everything is going to happen inside a composition called screen. So I'll click on this guy, come in here. Um, <clears throat> So there's something called a track mat, which is what is happening here. And um, with this track mat, whatever you do is going to be masked inside this frame, right? So it's basically sort of masking this guy, right, with this screen. So if you ever need to change the screen, you be obviously just be replacing this guy here, right? Um, if you want to learn how to animate things in After Effects, then stick around. I'll have um, it's a tutorial for product designers that just want to learn enough of After Effects to animate um, or prototype the uh, interactions. Okay, so since this is the track mat, which is basically masking whatever is going to happen here, and this is where all the animations is going to happen, I'll just right, right click on this and I'll pre compose this layer, right? Which is basically think of it as grouping or think of it as framing if you're coming from Figma. So I'll move all attributes to the new composition and open. Mm, did you do what I want you to do? Mm, nope. Something is happening. I just want to pre-compose this. I can come in and doing right click, pre-compose, leave all attributes. Yes. So I should have clicked on leave all attributes. Okay. Yes. So now all the screens I need to animate, everything I need to do will be coming into this new composition. So I may come here and just rename this, right? So to rename, I just click enter on my keyboard and call this animation playground. Okay, so I just a simple animation. I do not want this tutorial to be very long. So if you want to learn After Effects or you know how to do After Effects, I'm just showing you how to um, move that from Figma into After Effects and present your work better. Okay, so we'll jump back to Figma. Uh, where do we have those? So we have these guys, right? We have these guys. Uh, I will not be animating this. I will not be... Um, maybe I'll be animating this. So let, let's do something very simple. Right? Maybe I'll, I'll be animating this. Mm. Right? Or maybe I'll be animating this, for example. Okay. I need something very simple that we can easily do. So I'll be animating this guy. Right? I'll be animating these two guys. 
okay so what's going to happen is I want if you click on number one right this is going to change from this color to this green right? that is what I want to happen a very simple animation okay so since this is what I'll be animating I'll call my plugin again plugin development AUX okay I'll select all the things I do not want to animate so rasterize I'm not animating text I don't want it to break so I'll rasterize too um, I'm not animating this guy yet so I'll rasterize mm, what's happening I did not I did not export okay that was an error okay so um, one thing is you have to be careful with grouping all right so I'm going to group this what's going to happen is for every group you have there's going to be a composition right so there are a lot of layers happening in here so since I've rasterized this entire thing I'm not animating this yet I can just call this keypad or numpad okay numpad and rasterize the entire thing okay um, this text I rasterize it too <laughs> Okay, this is the only thing I'm animating, so I am going to leave it. Okay, so when exporting, you want to make sure your layers are properly named. So I'll call this circle one. Let's just copy circle two. Or you can call this even in P2 and in P2. Okay, so yeah, then this is in P4. Uh, circle four okay then let's see rasterize just making sure everything's rasterized um just to rasterize this guy reason i want to rasterize this is there are instances where um after effect doesn't handle borders very well right so what i want to do is bring out the elements i'll be animating bring them out of the frame right call this num and rasterize the entire thing so rasterize what's this group has it been rasterized no so rasterize it and name this button okay when you're renaming be careful not to move the asterisk if you do that um it turns back into a vector okay so this is the only time i'm animating right so this so now i can click on this and i can send selection to a right yeah same thing saving one city pin and this is it okay so we'll come right that's under effect control so we'll come back to projects um we have to find what we just exported okay we did not export animation container that was the first one mm, yeah i think it's named two is this guy All right it's named two so what's going to happen is inside this composition our animation playground right we're going to drag two here okay then we have to scale it um, we have to scale it turn off this guy we no longer need it okay there's something happening now so when you export frames from Figma right say I have a frame like this and it has a fill and I export this All right the fill doesn't get exported most of the time so I may just have to copy this color code come back to after effects go in here and just add a new um, you can add a new solid All right just call this BG of oh, fuck so country Z <laughs> new solid call it BG and paste the hex code in here okay so click on OK then just drag this to the bottom caps lock off so if we come back here I'll come back to here right you see it now has a bg okay so this way everything is going to be happening so i'll come in here um click on circle one which is what i'll be animating click on circle one so we can say at this at this point right at this point let's make the color um, fill so, so i'm trying to look for fill so at this point let's make the color this right so at this point up to this point the color should be this so you just add all the core keyframe remember this is not for those that do not know how to use after effect this is for those that know how to use figma and after effect but want to get a better idea of what the workflow should look like or what my workflow is okay 
so at this point let's say if number one is clicked you want to change this to a green color right or you want something fancy to happen there all right so you can just copy this new hex code all right come back to after effects say and at that point change the color to so let me move this forward a bit change the color to this okay so what happens is if we play this if we play this right as soon as the number is clicked this happens okay so that is pretty much what the workflow is i do not want this video to be longer than it, that it needs to be if you want to see how i animate most of the things i have in dribble or how i do most of the micro interactions at work let me know right you can just pick something on dribble tag me on twitter and i'll make you tutorial on how to do that if you want to learn how to use after effect just enough um, to animate your product, right? Leave a comment in the description and I may whip up into the for you. Yeah, so that is pretty much it. I'll see you next time.